What's up SaaS Masters, my name is George and today I want to show you a Canva alternative. Now if you don't want to pay as much as Canva, then you got a great option right here with Stencil. This one lets you design images and it's super easy to use. Now in this video, we will be covering what I like about it and what I dislike about it. So let's go jump over to my desktop and check out the deal and then jump over to Stencil's dashboard. So let's head on over there. Okay, everyone. So the deal is this one right here, $49 for a lifetime deal. So if you're tired of paying month to month with Canva, then this is a great alternative. Now, Canva is obviously really powerful and it has a bunch of features and we will be talking about what's missing here in Stencil later on. So for now, what do you get for $49 for a lifetime deal? Well, you get basically the unlimited plan. So you get unlimited plan features. You get access to the 5 million photos, 3 million plus icons, templates, save unlimited images, logo, watermarks, fonts, uploads, and get everything right for those $49. There's no th stacking or anything that you have to buy additional for this, all right? So let's go check out Stencil. I'm going to show you how you're going to actually use it and what you can do with it, all right? So basically, the first thing that you're going to need to set is the canvas size. So right here, we're looking at a square. But if we need a different size, then we can click on this right here. And we have different type of sizes that are available as presets, all right? So first of all, this is the all. And there's a bunch of companies that you can choose. And you can choose those presets from Etsy, Google My Business, Patreon, Spotify, Facebook, YouTube, etc., etc. If you just want to look at socials, click there, designs ads, headers, or your custom image design. So I've just say I want to use this for Pinterest and it's 600 by 900, right? So the image just changed the canvas size and now I can work there. Now the tools that are available to use are when you add something. So for example, if I add an image right here, I just click on it and now it's added, but I'm going to select the image and we get the options for the thing that we added there, right? So in this case, we added an image. We have filters available. So if you want to turn that black and white, a kind of another look, um, Lord Kelvin, <laughs> just different type of ones you want to use. You got your blur option. So it's going to blur the image transparency. If you want to set it like as a, as a background, something like that, we're, we're going to leave that there. All right. Um, we can lighten it. We don't want to do that. We can also darken it. In this case, we don't want to do that all either. A color overlay, if you want to overlay something like this and change the color to it. So for example, I'll show you if you want to go reddish, for example. All right, it's going to use that overlay. Obviously, we don't like that. Let's click outside. Let's remove it. You got your horizontal and vertical if you want to switch to that. And you got your upload background, make a resizable image, make it resizable again. You can crop it or remove the background. So let's get rid of it for now. The next thing that you want to be adding are text fonts. All right. So we got this right here, add a text and that just drops in a text. Now, one of the things I dislike and I wish they had is, for example, just like we have photos right here. I wish they had a text because they give you they would have a different type of text options that you would have for uh, with like text designs and they don't have that. It's like simple font right there. Obviously, you can change the font if you want. So, so you got text um, size, line height, drop shadow. If you want to add some drop shadow. Let me add some outline right here. So let's just say it's going to be red and there's our shadow. See that there is dropping the shadow. You can rid of you can get rid of if you want. You got your background color. You can duplicate it and delete it. Now, let's just say we want to change the font. You have these fonts available. See how it updates automatically and live over there. Or you can say my fonts if you want to upload your own font. So let's just say you're using a special font for your company. Well, you can upload it there. And we also have the import from Google Fonts, and there's a bunch of them. Roboto is a really popular one. If you want to bring it inside, you just add it to my fonts. All right. So you can just go ahead and just scroll over and over or search for the one you want, right? From Google Fonts. That's pretty cool that we have that there. Again, if we click on it, we get the options. We can delete it. One of the cool features about it is that you get the library of royalty free photos, which are 5 million plus photos. So let's just say if you're looking for a bear, for example, just, just go ahead and search for it and you're going to get a bunch of bears right there. Even pandas, I guess they're considered bears, but all right, you got pandas, you got polar bears and whatever, grizzly bears, and you just jump them in there. You have your icons available. Again, there's uh, 3 million plus royalty free icons that you want to choose. So let's just say you need an icon from Facebook. So instead of going to Google and searching for a Facebook icon or something like that, well, you got them right here and you just scroll. And it's going to get more and more that have to do with Facebook. Now, this is my favorite part. 
in everything that I like to do. For example, if it's a web builder or if it's anything else, I like to have templates because they save me time and they will save you time. So there's a bunch of templates that you can use. There's over 1,200 templates available, but let's just say we search for something popular, right? So we need to do something with food. We got a restaurant and I don't want to build everything from scratch. So from here, I can get an idea or I can resize it or use it for something else. So for example, I don't know, something a little bit more fancy. Mm. All right, this one. So we dragged in this one inside, let's wait for it to load. And it's gonna load in the images and the text for that. Plus it also resized it. So again, if we don't want that size, we can resize it. But yes, we do have to set the things manually, all right? So sometimes they might look a little bit smushed. So we have to fix it. So if I click on any of these elements, I can edit them like you saw already. Again, for example, for icons, we can change the color. Let's just say we want to turn that black, all right? And we got a black icon there. You got these elements available there. Also, we have quotes available here that you can find, something that you want to get inspiration from, or you just want to make something really fast that's inspirational. Well, we grab something from here, like Luther Burbank. Haven't heard of him, but there's ones from like Martin Luther King all the way to, for example, Jay-Z, that's a rapper. So they got a bunch of them right there. So there's over 100,000 quotes that might be useful if you want to make something nice that you want to inspire someone, and that's available there. What else do we have in Stencil? Well, there's the uploads. Upload all your files right here. One of the things I like about it is that you can separate your uploads from the logos. In other media designers that I've used, it's like everything's just inside of the same, everything's there, all right? So it's pretty cool that we have it separate. So upload all your images right here. If you need to use it, jump it over there. Options that you get with this is set it as a background, add to canvas, you can crop it from here. You can download it, you can favorite it, you can add it to a collection to make everything more organized. Again, haven't seen that in other designers. You can delete it and we have our logos separated. If we need to add it as a watermark, we just hit that on and off and resize it to wherever we need it. So it saves you time and you have your saved images. So if we're done with this design and we want to save it, well, we just save it right here. Okay. Other options that we have are toggle focus mode. We got the toggle grid. So for example, if you need alignment help, that helps you out. We need to delete it. Just clear the whole thing up. We need to save it. If I save this, it's going to add it here on my saved images. Now, what options do we have to export this? All right, to export it, we have the download option, all right, which gives you good options. You got JPG, which be this will give you a background. If you need something transparent, use PNG. You got dimensions. If you need a good image but not really big, then you have this one. Or you have retina display which is a bigger image so if you need quality select this one also the media type you got digital and print so that's print quality and you have compression uh, standard compression would be it's like it's, it's not going to compress it as much so you're going to get a, a bigger file image but if you need a reduced size image then you use maximum to compress it and you just go ahead and download all right you also have the option to share it by preview and share so for example you're looking at this if you need to share with facebook Obviously, you have to connect it with Facebook. Um, one of the things I like about it is they, they give you a preview of how it's going to look on Facebook, for example, or Twitter, how it's going to look. If it looks okay, you go ahead and share it. Um, I like this option where you get a link. So for example, it creates a bit.ly link. So let's just go ahead and open incognito mode. Let's just say I'm gonna share it to someone and there's the image. If they need it, right click, save image. All right, so that's pretty useful to have in a really easy and form matter to just grab a link and share it to someone. So that's pretty cool. That's there. Okay. So basically you saw the features, all right? This is how you design um, things that are lacking that I feel that are lacking. First of all, they don't have gradients available. I really, really like gradients for backgrounds. For example, um, let's just say this is the background color and we don't have a gradient color available. So we can choose from here, but there is no gradient. So that's a really drawback. The other, the way that you can solve this issue is by grabbing a photo from the 5 million photos and just say gradient uh, blue, all right? Grab something from there and use that as the background. So for example, if I like this one, all right? And we switched it up like that. that that's like another way you can do it. But in, in other terms, you don't have a way to actually tweak it. You gotta grab one of those images. I mean, you can use the filters if you need to change kind of a bit the, the colors. So that could help out a bit. So see how the tones change a bit? 
with that, right? That could help out. Other things that are lacking, for example, that um, Canva has, well, the Canva has the, they also, they have like these short videos that you can use. You can't use animated videos here on Stencil. It's just mainly designs, which is kind of a drawback. But if you're not into making the short videos, if you're just designing images, then this is a good option. And like I said before, the, the option tech for the text, I wish they had other kind of templates that already like pre-made already for like designs. That would be really nice if they had that. But basically, if you need an image designer that's at a great price, it's a lifetime deal that's been around for a while. I think it's over like two years that I know that they're there. I will be correcting that in the, I'll leave a text down here to let you know when they were launched. But it's there, it's solid, and it's a good designer if you need something like that. That's easy to use with a bunch of templates that can help you out with the free images then this is a good deal for you. Well, I thank you all for watching. My name is George. This is Sass Master, and I'll see you guys later.